Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is King Yuri. If you're seeing me for the first time, how are you guys doing? So today I said to do a Q&A video. I've not done a Q&A video before and I wanted to do the assumptions video but I was like, you know what? I prefer people to ask me questions. First, since I've not done a video like that before as opposed to assuming things about me. So I have all the questions I asked on my Insta story yesterday. So if you don't follow me on Instagram, my Instagram handle is Yummy Mom Life. So hopefully I don't mix this thing up because I did like screenshots and I'm hoping that I got all the questions because honestly this thing is even confusing. So the very first one is from Jennifer on where she said i love you please follow back i'm your biggest fan hey girl so i'll follow you back once i'm done because i didn't do that i guess I, I didn't have enough time yesterday i didn't have a lot of time so i'm going to follow you another one from miss v she said would you want to do a nine to five kind of job um when i was done with school i was i really wanted a nine to five job but that was before i had grace even when i was in school i was i mean i feel like this is something that a lot of women dream about but always wanted to work a nine to five job and i remember how i used to just dream of just being that career girl you know with my own car with my own money you know just being a very independent woman and then you know life just happened and it didn't work and even when i after i had grace i still wanted to do a nine to five because i remember that i was applying to a lot of companies during that period i, I applied a lot to um conga jumia i remember so well and i remember that i even got a call from conga to do a phone interview and I was like like in the middle of the call we we're going on and then I was like please where is the branch and the lady was like we can't say what branch it will be until you come in and then we'll figure out something like it has to be something close to where you live and like a lot of times I'll turn down job opportunities and job interviews because I just didn't want to work I just felt like it was going to pull me back from my family I wasn't going to be able to take care of my child properly and just the way I wanted to so way back yes I was dying to have a 9 to 5 job but right now with the way my life is set up I don't want a 9 to 5 job because my time is very flexible to be really honest it's really flexible and if I can get something you know re really steady to do at home where I still have the time to take care of my family to watch my babies grow you know to hang out with my children more I definitely would you know grab that in a heartbeat and I'm really grateful I'm grateful so far for the way things have gone um, but right now like I said I would not want to have a 9 to 5 Jimmy asked, what's your biggest motivation? I feel like this question is it's like motivated to do what? Is it motivated to live life or what exactly? But I would say, well, my biggest motivation generally in life is just um, seeing people who have been able to make something for themselves from the little that they've had or the little opportunities that they were given or, you know, just from wherever it is that they found themselves and the fact that I have children that are looking up to me and I have children who virtually are hoping like who, the fact that I have children who are literally surviving because of me like they are alive because mommy is there to take care of them and to feed them and to bat them I mean that is there can't be a bigger motivation there can't be motivation bigger than that so just my children you know they are they are just really small human beings that came into the world because i decided to bring them in and they are living because of me they are alive because mommy is you know here to keep them to take care of them so yeah my children have to be my biggest biggest motivation so bimi said what bimi are cancelled if you are cancelled you are cancelled Bimi, she's a YouTuber, follow her by the way, Bimi A. Bimi said, what would you rather be doing besides YouTube and being a fabulous mom? Uh, what would I rather be doing? Have I even thought of it? Ever. I just want to be rich in my house. Is it possible? I just want to be a rich girl in my house. I don't know, if it comes to work, I read geology, but... I don't think geology is something that I want to do. Um, way back, I wanted to do, I wanted to, you know, go further and do environmental geology because I actually love 
that part of geology i love environmental geology um but with children now i don't think it's something that it, it could be doable but because i'm so much of a warrior i don't know how i would cope going out of my home you know maybe even traveling and leaving my my children behind i don't know how that would work for me i definitely want to have like a home a home decor store so and then i would also love to do organizing that's something else i would really love to do so even if it means organizing people's homes for a living i would love to do that honestly that's like a huge it's, it's a huge deal for me something that i would love to do for fun and then if i can make money from it then that's just the icing on the cake so these are things that i would love to do yeah besides being besides youtube so bimi also asked me do you do collabs I mean, I do collabs like it's been so long since I did a collab and I think it's just the whole when I really got into content creation it just became so busy for me I just have so much stuff that I want to do and I don't have as much time so the truth is that even if I decide to do collaborations I haven't even figured out when I haven't been able to create time around them to be really honest I've missed out on a lot of collabs a lot of youtubers have reached out to me not so many but a few and we couldn't make it work because i just cannot find time and i don't like to pressure myself so much i don't want to force things because if i force it it's not going to come out like i want it to it's not going to flow like i want it to so i do collapse but i've not figured out how to balance my life with this with doing other things and then with including collapse so i feel like if it's I don't know. I, I don't know. I just want to take my time when it comes to things like that. Um, even channels that, you know, YouTubers with more engagement or like more subscribers than I do have, you know, we've talked about doing collab, but it's just for me to settle down and just sort my life out. Right now, you guys know, if you watch my vlogs, you guys know that I am home with Victoria most of the time. I don't have a nanny. My help goes to school. So I haven't figured out anything around that just yet i was thinking do i get someone to be staying with her while i'm home so i can do other things maybe go out do other things so that's something that i'm also trying to you know walk around so for now i'm not so i'm not very available if i put it that way because if you guys know my mom my mother-in-law was around for a while so i had I had like free time because I could leave Victoria with her and go out and you know come back whenever maybe even meet the girls when they get back from school but now it's just different because she's no longer with me so I'm still trying to work my way around that for now Bibi also asked Bibi it's only you when is Vicky getting her own channel Vicky is never getting her own channel don't ask me that question why, why should Vicky have her own channel? What is she doing? What is she doing in this life? The girl is just tagging along and, and being round and jumping because now she can jump. So that's all she does. She just jumps, 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 jumps. She's like a round telly tubby. She's just so, so cute. But I, I mean, I'm sure you are joking. Vicky cannot get her own channel. Who's going to manage the channel for her? What are we going to put on the channel? You people just want me to just do video where Vicky will just be on or making funny sounds that she makes like so no i don't know vicky is not getting her own channel you better stay here and watch vicky on this channel maybe i'll be doing like two minutes of vicky for you guys two minutes of vicky because everyone's like vicky 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 i love vicky i love vicky so we'll be doing you know we'll be having a lot more vicky in the vlogs now because i can see that you guys are obsessed with her so if it means you guys are gonna watch because of vicky i will include vicky okay be me ask again why so fine <laughs> Why so fine? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Desiree. See, the, is it Desiree or Desiree? Because I think I've seen this name spelled and um, pronounced as Desiree. 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 Let me just call it Desiree. So Desiree Iora said, when you met your husband, was it love at first sight? No, it wasn't love at first sight. And I've shared the story before, but when we met it, it, it took a while for me to even use that word love because i had gotten to a point in my life where i did not want to lead anybody on and i did not want to tell somebody something i didn't mean like because i know people can the word i love you at that point in my life was being used by a lot of people it was like once you're in a relationship with somebody you should start loving them immediately and it for me it didn't work that way and i don't think it even works that way i feel like love is something that it comes along 
you know it comes with the relationship it's not something that you just love each other and you're like bam i mean like when you meet someone you don't love them immediately you have to get to know them and sometimes you might start dating someone before you start loving them so that was it for me we just really started dating and then along the line in the relationship i you know started realizing that i was loving him you know just liking him a lot more and was i was willing to do a lot of things i was willing to you know sacrifice my time and it, just a lot of things and i remember then clearly which i even shared he would tell me i love you and i'll be like okay yeah. i'm like okay all right and i don't think he was even he didn't push me he didn't press he didn't say oh why don't you say i love you too? he just he would just keep quiet so he would say i love you and i'd be like okay well, i'll just smile i'll just give him a peck and then you know that would be it but when the day came when i could say it i you know i told him that i loved him because i realized that it was something that was really genuine and i really felt that way so yeah it wasn't love at first sight she also asked did you always want three kids or less or more um when i was younger i went i wanted four kids because i have an aunt that has two boys and two girls so i've always wanted four children because it just seemed cute like two boys two girls you know you know it, it was just even balanced but my dear sister when you born one i'm telling you you don't even know you have no freaking idea when you have one i think it's when you start having from two upwards that's when you now step back and we strategize you're like do i really want to do this thing again and again and again so i didn't always want three kids i wanted four but after i had grace um and then i had ella i, I actually planned to stop at ella to be really honest i planned to stop at ella because i had waited a while before we had ella so once i had ella i was like you know what i i think i'm just done at this point but then victoria came along and now i'm ready to stop i've closed my shop thank you very much i know if my mother watches this video she'll be doing emo because she still wants more but i'm sorry i i'm i'm done i think i'm done at this i'm done at this point to be really honest i'm done at this point i don't want to have any more children moms and mrs 89 said do you speak Igbo to your kids I don't even speak Igbo so well myself. I'm an Igbo girl, but my my parents didn't raise me speaking Igbo. And then even though I went to school in Oka, I still couldn't catch Igbo properly. So I only speak things like like when I say come or I'll slap you or go and sleep. You know, just li those little little regular common Igbo. I speak those to them, but I don't speak like fluent Igbo to them. Ure, Oka, I say, can we be friends? I'm here, girl. I'm here. I'm your friend. I'm here. My friends already. You guys know me, man. If you send me messages, I'm up. Call me. I'm here. So, Fonty Angel said, "When are you going to do a recipe video on your famous fried rice?" My fried rice is for me. It's like basic rice. It's, there's really nothing because I don't want to now do videos. Someone now tell me that oh, you're supposed to put this one inside. I just cook it the way I love it. But I will try and see if I can do a video. My fried rice is really nothing. It's, it's delicious, but I just feel like it's not. <laughs> it's not worth doing a video on if that makes any sense because fried rice is like regular food There's a lot of fried rice recipes another question from Estilo Gorgeous says what inspires you? Eh, see questions like this. I feel like it's just confusing. What inspires me to do what? I don't know um, Life, you know, I just I get inspired by a lot of things. I am a very my mind is very open Let's just put it that way. I have a very open mind so a lot of things you know very minute things just inspire me to do a lot of things if that makes sense i don't know the question is not very direct to me the jennifer abba said what motivated you to start working out and how are the results so far um what motivated me to start working out well to be honest it wasn't because because i've noticed that when i started working out i got some messages people just giving me advice on what to eat saying you don't want to work out and then you know go back and eat a bar or eat but the truth is that me working out i'm not a desperate at this point i'm not desperate to lose weight to be honest when i said working out i just looked around me and i was like i want activity in my life i want to i just want to be able to 
do something to just move my body i wanted more activity i felt like my body needed it at that point in time even though i, I do a lot of things in the house you know walking back and forth bathing children cooking this that it just wasn't enough for me so i wanted something that i could do and so i just looked down and i was like you know what let me just try and fit in workouts you know into my daily routine i realized okay my husband takes the children to school in the morning vicky follows them in the morning the period between when he takes vicky and you know takes them to school i can you know get a little bit of workout and even though they meet me when i'm working out that's still fine but i just look usually i just look at i just say i have time to do this instead of me to be on my phone in the morning watching youtube videos i downloaded why don't i just you know work out and to be honest it's been doing well for me i i love it because jennifer also asked a question she said okay said how are the results so far usually i notice that i have waist pain like every blessed day because usually when my husband gets back most evenings on days that he can like well, maybe once in two days once in three days i ask him to massage my waist for me but since i started walking apart from like the total body pain that comes with walking out my waist doesn't hurt me any longer he got to a point that he even came back one day and he was like should i massage your waist for you and i'm like okay please do i didn't like i i hadn't realized that i wasn't having waist pain that night but i was like okay please just massage it for me because i couldn't pass up you know free massage so i laid down and he was massaging me and i wasn't feeling relief like it was there was nothing there so i was like don't worry like I, I can't feel the pain any longer and from then i noticed that i don't have that waist pain any longer i just i just right now i haven't gotten like a scale i have measured myself with a paper but i haven't checked since the last time i measured myself and i feel it's because i'm not so much in a hurry i don't want to start chasing the numbers when i just started because i feel like if i do it for a while the results will definitely show up and then I can also oh let me measure myself again, let me weigh myself. But I'm going to get a scale next week. I'm going to buy a scale next week and then yeah, or this week rather, because that's when you guys watch this video. So I'll get a scale and then you know just start from there. But I'm not I'm not trying to rush the numbers and you know keep checking my waist, checking my bust, checking my hips. So I, I don't want to do that. Joyce Daniel says, please, how do you do it? You handled everything so flawlessly. Um I've always said it, I'm just organized, I'm just organization is key you cannot be a mother and just move wherever the breeze blows you you have to have a plan you have to have things down to it you have to be organized you have to have a schedule you it's no so longer so long like when you were single when you're like hey well if eight o'clock meets me here where anyhow anything or anything that wants to happen when you're a mother so that your family doesn't suffer so that your children don't suffer so that a lot of things don't go wrong and you don't get extremely stressed out you need to be organized you need to plan your life on a daily basis so i'm very i'm a very very organized person and because i'm organized it just really helps me breeze through things easier than it would for a lot of other people so desire said how did you start out youtubing did you always know you wanted to do media when i had grace i had grace in 2011 and during that period um i used to read a lot of blogs but not nigerian blogs i didn't know of any nigerian blog i don't think i don't think i knew a lot of nigerian bloggers maybe i knew some but not a lot that i can remember or that i was following back to back but i was following um plus size american bloggers like gabby fresh um nestanisha of girl with curves um kimberly naturally fashionable nadia um there were a lot of these amazing um plus size bloggers i was following because i was trying to understand how to style my body so when i was reading through there when i used to read through their blogs i was like let me just start something like that period i was saving so i started in my office wearing that good on this my office but my house very great because my office wasn't far from my house and so even though i was obsessed with blazers at that point in time i would wear blazers and then i'll wear sandals so when i remember when i post pictures we would be like why would you wear blazers and wear sandals but i was i just didn't wear shoes because my house wasn't too far from where i walked but i really loved wearing blazers so i wear blazers with jeans wear sandals and then take pictures and that's how i started blogging and then with time i said sharing like makeup looks and then you know people would ask oh let's see how you do you know looks like this and then i discovered youtube I was like, okay so this is a platform where i can share how i do my makeup and then i started with makeup videos so if you go all the way down you see my makeup videos some of them might be embarrassing some of them the editing was crap but you will still find them they haven't deleted them yet so i started with makeup videos and then when i started having children you know you just have to 
you have to go with the flow man as life takes you you just have to keep on adjusting so i was in makeup videos when i had babies i realized that it was so difficult for me to keep doing makeup videos because i didn't have the time and even if i start i have to go and breastfeed or i have to do something i have to make lunch so i was like you know what let me just start vlogging and because vlogging is is very easy it's my reg is me just living my life except that i'm living it with a camera so i started vlogging and then that is where we are right now so short girl on Asko Oti said I would like to be a great mom like you when I get married I'm sure you will be I'm sure you will be because I mean you are picking a lot of tips Abby you are learning something so hopefully yeah you're getting all that and it would help you in the long run so, Rani Sanusi said why did you get married at such a young age did you have any fears at that age um, so if you don't know I got married at 21 why did I get married at 21? Um, I never wanted to get married early, but I, I, I don't think I had a particular age when I wanted to get married. I knew that when I leave school, I wanted to work, I wanted to have my own money. Those were the things that was singing in my ears constantly. Girl, you have to have your own money. You have to be a big girl before you even think of getting married. But then it didn't happen that way because I met my husband along the way. And my husband is you know way older than me it wasn't like that kind of relationship where you guys are just you know whiling away time enjoying the relationship i mean we enjoyed our relationship but he was upfront and it was like i want to get married to you and i'm like you know what there's really nothing holding me back this is an amazing man and i would not mind spending my life with him and so i was like okay you know what let's just, let's just get married and we got married did i have any fears no i didn't i didn't have any fears i went in with the with the right mindset, didn't know so much about marriage, can't know so much about marriage because I've never been married before, but I just went in trusting the person that I was getting married to. And I would say so far, I'm grateful because a lot of people who got married when I did are no longer married. And um, it just, it's just, it just really dependent on the person you get married to and yourself, how bad you guys want it to work. I didn't do anything special I won't say I did anything special or I had any special skills I'm just grateful that God has seen us through up to this point and it just keeps on getting better so I'm grief so grateful for that a abisodo I hope I'm getting your name right a a a abisodo how best do you handle conflicts between you and your husband um so when we have conflicts yeah there are times when i'm in the mood to quarrel like i'm just in the mood to keep malice like you want to keep malice okay let's go two days we're at it but then i noticed that when we have conflicts like this and we keep malice and we don't talk to each other things don't go well um i don't know please let me know in the comments if you're married and things like this happen when we have conflicts things don't go well literally my husband steps out of the house everything would go wrong every blessed thing would go wrong and he will come back home and he'll be like well don't know i don't know what you are having for me in your mind that i went out today a uh, last man caught me vio caught me this one did this <laughs> i paid this fine <laughs> like the other day he came back and i'm like i don't understand i don't swear for you so <laughs> what exactly is the problem i was like check yourself so I noticed that it's, it's, it's just not healthy for us so we just try to solve conflicts as quickly as we can we have a quarrel and I'm like you know what it's just a spur of the moment thing it's just something that's happening right now at the end of the day we're going to forget it. so why not just settle the whole thing now so leaving quarrels stay that long it just starts to breed all sorts of things you guys start to think of a lot of things you start to have so many it's just so many bad rotting emotions running through so i don't like quarrels to stay for so long to be really honest so right now i mean as we're growing in the marriage we're trying to get better so we try to resolve things as quickly as we can so something on as for all says please just skipping helps to reduce the tummy skipping helps to reduce your overall weight um, skipping helps you to burn fat everywhere but it's not like an on the spot um weight loss solution so if you want to lose weight in your stomach you would lose weight but if you really want it to be fast i think you would have to do like crunchy sit-ups and all those other things but skipping just helps with your overall like you know body weight loss 
Oh my darling, human creation, I can't care. She said, no question, just want to tell you I love you too much. Oh, I love you, I love you, girl. We need to hang out, man. We need to hang out. Thank you. So Nikki Dami said, how do you manage taking care of the family and slaying? So it has to be an intentional thing, bottom line. It has to be intentional. I've always been a fine girl. I've always been a baby girl. I've always wanted to keep being a baby girl. So I was like, you know what? Having children is not going to stop that because the years are going by. You know, when you start saying, oh, because I have children, I don't want to, I, I'm taking my time, I'm, I'm spending so much of my time, you know, I'm investing my time into my children. My sister, the years are going by, the years are passing you by. By the time you're not ready to look after yourself, your children are grown, they, they've probably left. And then you start looking back and saying, oh, what did I use these 18 years of my life to do? What did I spend 19, 20 years of my life doing? Like, you're not enjoying it. So it's, motherhood is hard enough as it is, but we should try and enjoy the process. And for me, enjoying the process is looking beautiful, doing my nails, getting my hair done, going out. I want to enjoy the process because I don't want to, I don't want the years to go by. And then all I can think of is washing baby's bum bum and feeding children and feeding husband i also want to have memories that i enjoyed myself so yeah it has to be an intentional effort something that you know that you want to do Oops, underscore a said up until now please how do you manage your family youtube and your businesses your business all at once if you guys check my business pages there, there are nothing's going on there because my brain is scattered at some point but like i said i like to take my time i don't like to force things it's something that i'm constantly thinking about and i'm constantly i have that tab open in my head like i need to figure out something around it so it's something that i'm working on and i'm definitely going to do something about it this year but it's just i just need to take my time and so i'm definitely working on it i'm taking my time it's a lot of work because for someone like me i'm a very organized person so when i have all of these things to do i need to do them and do them well so it's, it's a lot more difficult for me but i'm definitely working on it Tom's underscore A says, you're so beautiful. Any advice for a 23-year-old who hasn't been lucky with relationships? So first thing I would say is, um, it's not about the age, girl. It's not about the age. Life is a journey. We're all going through it. It's not about the age. Some 18-year-olds are lucky in relationships. Some 40-year-olds end up with the man of their dreams, a man that they never even expected even existed. So it's a, it's a, it's a gradual process. Still take your time, you know, make the right choices as, as much as you can. But I don't think it's an age thing because the fact that you mentioned your age makes you look as if you're like, okay, I'm getting too old and I haven't been lucky. You can be lucky at 24. You can be lucky at 23 years and five months. So still take your time, please. It's not it's not a rushing thing. I don't want I don't like when people feel like they have to rush things like marriage and relationships. I saw something and I wish I had done a screenshot. It was saying there was just this quote that I, I think was on Twitter or so where they said something like it's better for you to wait for so long to find the right man um, instead of jumping into the wrong marriage something like that so please just take your time age is not really the issue honestly just take your time and don't settle for less so Lydia <laughs> Lydia Tufu said why are you so pretty why are you pretty on what leg do you wear your anklet I prefer my right I also wear mine on my right I just I don't know I've seen people wear theirs on their left and at, at some point I've always thought of it how do people choose what leg to wear their anklets on because I just feel comfortable when it's on my right leg I don't know and thank you thank you so Adora97 said any advice for young women working on their careers and holding off marriage honestly your career is very important what do you mean holding off marriage do you mean that there's a man there and you're telling him you're not ready to get married to get to a certain level in your career or you're working on your career and then you're not don't want you don't have time for relationships i mean that's still fine you just know your priorities man you just know your priorities for me i feel like there can always be a balance you can still have a good career and still have a good marriage those two things can work hand in hand just depends on who you get married to and how much they are you know how much they can push you and how well they can motivate you and how well you can also motivate yourself um but yeah working on your career is fine <laughs> 
I was almost going to say this when people say your career will not just get up and leave you but I feel like it's very 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 important to build a career not a lot of women are lucky to go into marriages without careers where their husbands are able to take care of them and are able to like you know build them up and lift them up to a certain point where they can stand on their own financially um, so that's one thing that I always advise women to do it's not bad I don't think it's a bad idea to focus on your career before marriage or a relationship she also asked what's been the hardest or best part of mothering the hardest part has to be the time and the effort taken into giving to take care of them the time and the effort is just a lot it's just so much um it's just so much there's so many things that are so hard about mothering the financial aspect the fact that a lot of times you have to choose them over yourself um the fact that sometimes even when you don't have something has to be done about that thing if it's school fees if it's food even if you stay hungry you don't want your children to be hungry so you know sacrifices are made blood had tears there's just so much you know that goes into being a mother the best part is i mean all the effort is not in vain you see them they look beautiful they are healthy they are really smart when you open their mouth and they talk you just feel so happy you know it's it, it, it's it's a two-way thing but we're really grateful we're grateful we thank god at least for health for health we bless god i really really thank god for that so yeah Ebu said, first of all, I love you and your family. Do you treat any of your kids with preference, especially Ella? Ah, Ella. So the, I, I guess it's because you guys see Ella with me a lot. Ella is a good body. Ella is a good That girl is obsessed with me. You both should help me. Ella cannot stay. I'm surprised. Okay, she's sleeping. She hasn't walked in here. Ella cannot stay 30 minutes without me. She would always walk in and ask me, hello, mommy. What are you doing? I'm like, I'm filming or I'm resting and watching TV. So... I don't treat any of them differently i don't it's just that at this point of their lives there are three different stages ella is talking a lot vicky is starting to talk so it's really really cute i like to hear the little things that she has to say grace is at the point where she's always arguing with me there's always something to argue about if i say one she will tell me say her own hundred you know it's like a back and back argument we talk like friends it's like it's not a mother daughter discussion any longer so there are different points in their lives where it's just cute and it's just you you interact with them differently so i don't treat any of them different i just i don't treat any of them differently ah okay oh my she will help you she said do you know why i know who you are <laughs> yeah darling nina Okonko said where do you buy your bags from so I buy my bags from Tiffes Hot, not all of them, but recently I've been buying like the last few bags I've bought are from Tiffes Hot, which I always leave her um, Instagram name on the screen in the vlogs. So that's where I buy my bags from. What's the most important advice you can give a small hundred subs YouTuber? Um, first of all, I would say do YouTube because you love it. Do YouTube because you love it. Because those days of no subscribers, no views no engagement those days will come and if your reason for doing youtube isn't legit or isn't something that comes from the heart you would give up you would honestly give up so do it because you love it do it because you enjoy it. do it because there's there's a purpose you have a purpose for doing it you want to make a change you want to share you want to help people that is the one thing that will keep you in those days where you will not able to see i remember when i used to post videos last last two years and i'll post videos in like one week you see 24 views but i was still posting i didn't stop if you guys look at my videos i was still posting that during that period i even bought a dslr camera can you just imagine when you're not getting views but you, you, you just keep want to, you just want to keep getting better it's a journey it's a process you would end up finding what works for you you try this you try that you, you know just be very be versatile i would say that be very versatile on youtube because like, don't push out one video and then in the next two years that's when we see your second video people would feel that you're not serious honestly and youtube will even almost throw your your, your channel under the rug because you know we're not seeing the same we're not seeing constant content from you so so yeah i think those are all the questions that i've gotten between yesterday and today 
thank you guys so much for asking these questions i hope you guys enjoyed this video i'll probably do this again because i mean there are always a lot of questions to ask and this was like really short notice because i asked this just yesterday evening and then yeah i'm doing it today so if you guys have more questions please follow me on instagram i will probably do a part two of this video i'll see you guys in the next one don't forget don't forget to subscribe and tap on that bell icon down there so that whenever I post a video you're notified you just are telling me I've not seen your videos in like two weeks you get notifications whenever I post a video and also leave me a comment what do you guys think if there are, um if you have responses to some of these questions that you feel would help these people please leave them in the comment section because I'm sure they'll be reading them so yeah I'll see you guys in the next one bye